So this video is all about showing you how to do a basic regression in Stata. And in order to do that, we're going to ostensibly you uh, you have Stata or you know how to use it um, or you know how to open it up at least. And so we're going to skip some of the really simple basic processes. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an example data set. So if you go to your Stata, whichever version you have, and you go under File, you will see a button down here that has Example Data Sets. Under Example Data Sets, we're going to go to the very top, and we're going to find the one that, whoa, and we're going to find that, let's try that again. And so we're going to find this link right here that says Example Data Sets within Stata. Okay, so we're going to click on that, and we have all of these huge lists of data sets. Let me minimize this so you see the whole window. Okay. And one of the first ones here is auto.dta. DTA basically means that it's a data file, a data data file. And we're going to use the auto one to begin. All right, I'm going to close that out. And the first thing you should notice is that under my variables window on the right hand side, I have a bunch of variables now. And these variables tell me the, first of all, how many of the variables I have, and they tell me what they are. If I were to pop up the window and click on one of these, say make, the, my properties window at the bottom gives me additional details like where the data comes from, what it looks like, 74 total observations, uh, how many variables, all this kind of thing. But I'm really interested to look at these guys. What do they look like? Well, there's a little button up here at the top that has a magnifying glass. That's my data editor or browse. That's a lot of data. So let's minimize this again so that we're in a good place here. Okay. And so here's what my data looks like. I have a certain number of variables across the top. They tell me, in this case, they describe different characteristics of the vehicles. And here I have all the different vehicles or all the different observations for my data. And so I want to do a regression. I want to make a regression to try to figure out which of these characteristics affect the price of the vehicle. Okay. So the command under Stata is called regression. We often just type in reg. If you need details on how that works, you can type help reg, or help with my regression, and you get this help window that comes up. And maybe I'll do another video describing exactly how these help windows are used, but here's help regress is the actual command. Um, and that's how we do linear regression, okay? So let's do a regression. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is type in my dependent variable. That is gonna be the price. I wanna see how other variables affect price. And there's different things I can do here, like MPG. So I just type in MPG, and boom, I have a very simple regression. This regression tells me that there is a negative or an inverse relationship between miles per gallon and price. What does that mean? It means that as my miles per gallon decreases, or as my miles per gallon increases, the price of the vehicle decreases. So there's an inverse relationship there. Uh, this is, if you notice, go back here down to properties. It's 1978 data. So this is the price of the vehicles back in 1978. In 1978, the price of, of uh, commodities was kind of high. We were in the middle of a potential energy crisis and other things. So that kind of makes sense. People want lowered miles per gallon vehicles. So I come back to my command window and I think, you know, Yes, I want to know what miles per gallon deals, but I want to do a multiple regression. So I want to regress on price more than just miles per gallon. I type in miles per gallon because that's the name of the variable. Um, the repair record, I'm going to skip that. Headroom. So I want to see, maybe there's a lot of big people where you're from, see how much space you have. Trunk space, uh, weight of the vehicle, the length of the vehicle, and I just type these guys in and I get a nice little multiple regression that tells me the coefficient of the, of the different variables with the dependent variable. My dependent variable is listed here in this little corner, and it gives me, in this particular model, which one of these are significant uh, variables or significant effects where weight and length are the biggest ones there, and that's great. So let me show you one couple of more things. If I'm gonna regress on price, I can also do like a little click and add thing here where I type in and do a, a big highlight, and I can just drag all of these guys down. And I can drag them down by, I can drag them down one at a time. If I want, oh, I just want uh, foreign. I want to know 
if uh, if the car was built in the United States or not, and whether that is a, this is a bit of a logistical regression. I'm sorry, not a logistical regression, but this is a a Boolean variable, not a whole lot of explanatory power. But if I um, if I bring in all the variables, let's say I want to do a reverse stepwise regression, then it would be price, and then bring in all the variables, plug them in here. I, I usually like to just delete that space just to keep it neat, but it's no big deal. And here's my big model here. In this model, I only really have foreign. Um, that's not significant, but let's go find the biggest one. Miles per gallon is 779. That's the one you should throw out, but I've got a feeling that miles per gallon is going to be kind of important. So let's throw out gear ratio and see what happens. Here, I'm going to click on the button page up on my keyboard, and it brings me back to the previous uh, command. And so as I play with this one, I'm going to delete gear ratio. I'm going to run it again. Equal that miles per gallon is still pretty high. So let's go ahead and throw it out. Even So I guess it's not a big factor compared to the other ones. And now I have a little bit cleaner regression. The next big variable is the repair record. So we'll probably don't care so much about the repair record. And here, basically, I'm just following the steps that I would take for a very simple uh, uh, stepwise, reverse stepwise regression. So the next one I'm going to take out here, because of my probabilities, is trunk. And so I'm going to go over to trunk and take it out, shift, highlight, and delete. And that only leaves me with my turn radius. Uh, highlight that one and delete it. And now I get probably the most parsimonious model I can get using a reverse stepwise regression. And that's basically it. Again, if you need any additional assistance doing regressions, then you can type help reg or help regress. And you'll get, uh, you get a little window that has here. The great thing about the windows, the help windows, is that they basically tell you how it works. You type in regress, you type in the dependent variable, and then here are all the different independent variables. We'll do ifs and ins and all the other stuff later. Um, the other good thing about the help menu is if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a lot of beautiful examples down here. This one's a little complicated. Let me see if I can find a simple one. Here you go. Regress, GPM, W foreign. So here's basically what we did. We just did regress. So if you need to, you can go to help regress. And that is a simple, quick way to do regressions and multiple regressions in Stata.